Okay guys, welcome back. So it still seems to be the topic that's on everyone's lips, Matty boy, how far Bryce and DeChambeau's hitting the golf ball. And uh, we don't want to sort of beat a dead horse here with this one, but people are curious as to how he's doing it beyond just his change in size. Yeah, I think the club head speed is easy to understand, but he's he was 340 something on average over the weekend. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that before. Maybe in like at Kapalua or something, yeah. but I don't remember anyone averaging. Like Rory can average 320, and that's yeah. usually good for first. Well, there's you know a lot of the drives that I saw ball speed uh, sort of numbers on. I've seen faster numbers before. Um, Cameron Champ generally is is kind of when you see his numbers, he's 190, 191. Uh, so I think Champ may have him uh, on on the speed right now. I don't expect that to last too long. He doesn't have him for driver distance though. No, and that's why it's a bit confusing because people know that you know Cameron Champ was always number yeah. one, and he swings about the same speed, but yeah. he's probably what losing 15 yards to him. Exactly, exactly. So that's really, guys, what this video is all about: is what can you guys learn from the way Bryson is doing it? Um, the way he's setting up his equipment, the things that he has addressed. You know, he is, he is going for this uh, with a, a sort of the marginal gains approach. He is not just trying to do one thing to improve his speed. Mm. He's trying to do multiple things and have the compound effect of those multiple things yeah. equal out to distances that have never been seen on the PGA Tour before. Exactly. By, yeah. by top players. And, and what came to my mind, Matty, was the way people are talking about him and the way even we are talking about him is the way people look at you. So on the channel, people go, well, Matt does something I can't do. Right. Bryson does something that we can't do. So it's, he's on a different speed level from, mm -hmm. from, uh, from you know, what we see normally. So let's, let's dive into that. Sure. And let's you know, use, use the guinea pig because you can swing you know, almost you know, as quick, but that's, that's another gear. He's, he's, he's a shelf above. Yeah. So we're gonna hit some with my driver, call them, I don't know, my standard shots Just basically. a stock drive, just a stock in play golf, uh, golf shot for you, which is a, a 315 drive. Yeah, so we'll Something look at right speed, there. launch conditions, yeah. total distance, and then you've got, a little, you've got a little setup that will get us closer to where Bryson hits Exactly, it. Okay. exactly. All right. And we're, we'll talk a little bit, we'll try and break down how to get it done. Well, old Freaky Deaky has revisited the scene of its famous victory. Yep. That looks a lot like my golf course swing. That is a, that is a great drive. That's exactly what I do. That is a great drive. Yeah, I get it on the course, I launch it a bit lower, and I spin it a bit more than I do normally. That's exactly what I do. Yep. That should be a bit better. That is higher launch with less spin, probably a little quicker, so that's lovely. I mean, that bunkers the benchmark. So yeah. once we dial this uh, bomber driver in for you, Matty, I expect us to be waving to that bunker <laughs> on the way past. There we go. Ho-hum. Little lone head. Yeah. Fine. You know, that's Honestly, it's, it's exactly what I've, I have been struggling with, so it's fine. Up and around that three. Uh, you know, as we break down how you go about your, your business, with a driver on the golf course, trying to just put it in play and, and that sort of stuff. It's funny, it's the first time I've been able to really show you what I do on the course. Yeah, there, there's been a couple of occasions. I remember the one occasion we were out at Magna and we popped out for a couple of holes and we were trying to do on-course data while yeah. we were playing our little match. And uh, we were seeing your spin rate was way higher than what we had saw in the practice tee. And, um, stuff like that. So I think it's a strike pattern difference. I don't think my swing changes. I think yeah. when I get out on the course for who knows what reason, I strike a lower part of the head than I do in here, which so exactly is what pretty it is. consistently the case. From a spin loft perspective, it's, it's nothing, nothing uh, that we're, we're upset about with that. Yeah. Purely, uh, purely strike um, induced. Good. So if, right. I was, if I was a tour player hitting at 315, I just play with Bryson. He's literally dusting me. By 50 yards, I feel like oh, yeah. a loser. Well, you, you'll be, you're just about to dust yourself by yeah. 50. So we basically want to get, he's got, what, a six degree driver. 5.5 five is what he's at right now, I believe. So we're um, trying to get, the sim is a nine degree head. You've lofted it down to. Seven. Which is as low, I can't even hit a ball otherwise, so. And, and it's comparable because at certain speeds, you need X amount of speed to be able to handle that low of loft. Yep. This is basically the same as Bryson using 5.5. Five. This is my red line. This is, this is your 5.5. Five. Okay. Now, 
we, we've talked about spin loft a lot. Mm -hmm. Spin loft is the key. Strike point is the key. Yeah. Speed is the key. So Bryson, what he's trying to do is, is get his spin loft as narrow as he can get it in order to basically just make this ball go as far as possible. So mm. he's going to get the ball up in the air with, with lots of delivered, uh, lots of upward angle, angle of attack. So lots of loft. So mm -hmm. you're probably, I'd like to see you deliver the loft at 16 or 17 mm. with seven degree upward angle of attack. Right, gotcha. Right. gotcha. So right now we're, we're kind of like 14 and two. Uh -huh. So I'm, I want to get a lower spin loft with faster, more like one, if, I mean, if we can achieve 125 club speed. Today we're at, one, what, 120? Those first few were 120, yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, on the average, it was Smoothies. dead on 120. Okay. Perfect. So looking for more speed and more of a knuckly flight. Yeah. And, and we're redlining the speed. Yeah, I'm going to push it. We are I mean, he's literally coming out of his shoes, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to try. If you need to ex you know, extend the length of your backswing a little bit and, and kind of really work at it, all right, well, let's work our way into it. Yeah. Okay, best impression. Different flight. <laughs> I probably struck it a little low in the face. It's definitely going further. A lot further. I'll tell you what, that's a heck of a first effort. Almost had everything. So there's, there's the difference right there so we kind of kept the launch now we want that launch to go up a bit we want the spin to come down a little bit if we yep. can fair you've just picked up 30 yards that's an exaggeration on the strike clearly yeah um angle of attack has moved close to where we want and so has okay. the loft so okay okay this i teed it up a little higher he looks yeah. like he tees it like sky high yep. so okay let's see if we can keep that speed i want to certainly get that ball speed into the low 80s where on this one okay Waving bye bye to that bunker as we're sailing over it. Okay. Different gear. Still a little low on the face. So we've got room for room for more. It's better. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yep. Speed's good. I just we're, need to strike we're in a it. Really a nice spin loft window right now. I'd love to love to even see if we can get a little more tilt at address and see if we can get that upward more. Because okay. I would love to see this fly at 110 feet. Gotcha. Okay. That was low. It looked that low. That was a little on the flat. Okay, so I'm going to tilt a bit at a dress. Yeah. Still sounded a hair low in the head, was it? <laughs> it probably was. I think the conditions are good, though. I mean, you give me so little loft that I can get away with that. Yeah, that's, that's out there. But you're right. The strike is still, <laughs> still not there. There we go. So all angle of attack is mm. the only reason it launched that high. Okay, that's it. Concluded <laughs> before I hurt myself. I won't hit it any better or further. It's no way. Yes. That is the point we want to. That's the exclamation point. 332 oh. on the fly, 365 total, and it's three yards offline, four yards offline. Yeah, that's, that's just manipulating the launch conditions to the extreme, Matty, is what yeah. we've done there. Yeah. Um, interestingly, the delivered loft isn't all that different. Spin loft is, is obviously lower. Speed is increased. Strike location's higher. Strike location's higher, so we do get the, the benefit of the higher launch, lower spin, faster speed, and you see an entirely different sort of flight going, uh, going out there. But this is, this is where everyone knows you to be. And, but th this is what Bryson's doing. He's, he's, he's trying to hit it 360, 365. He's leaping past guys that are pretty decently long on tour. Like 320 is pretty decently long on tour. And then to go, no, I'm going to hit it uh -huh. 45 yards past you. And you've not even had to eat your fiance to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the local store still has stock of milk. <laughs> You're at 365, which is kind of where he's... You know, he's at, he's carrying it three, you know, 320, but you know, if, if you worked, I mean, here would be the interesting thing is if you went on a speed spree, yeah. you know, or a strength gain spree, you're like, where could you end up with your action? That's a good question. Um, it's definitely, I want to get speed back into, I feel better on the course, especially when I, when I give it some beans. Yeah. And I'm not noticing, like I hit it 
more offline. Yeah. Just a more confident motion. I think that's part of it with him is everyone's like, well, he's lashing at it. It looks ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I want to see, is he actually hitting it more crooked? I, don't, I doubt it. No, he's not. He's, he's, I don't he's think he 60% is. fairways on, on the weekend or on the week. Um, he's, he's, no, he hit it in a ton of fairways. And that's why when I texted you, I'm like, Ronnie's a prime example. Yeah. The perception is when I swing out of control, 100%. oh God, the ball's going everywhere. But I think people forget how many times do you swing in control and spray it? Yeah. Pretty frequently. A lot. A Everyone lot. does. I do I, it all the I time. I do not see people swing faster and hit it much more crooked. Now, you're not falling all over the place here losing I'm trying your balance. to. I'm trying to, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> some people when they swing fast kind of like fall off and like you're still hitting this in the right part of the head, guys. If, if you try to swing fast and it, it, and it disables your ability to hit it in the middle of the head, then that's at the point where you've, you've pushed it too far. Good point. You need to maintain the stability. Now, a lot of what Bryson has talked about when I've heard him talk about it is he is now strong enough, he is now stable enough to swing at that speed. Mm. I'm not hearing him say that, that he's getting that size because the size is what produces the speed. That makes a lot of sense. Right? It's just building the base. He, he, he is building a really big foundation to, uh, to put this speed on. Um, that's a great point. So that's something to think of. But I love what you've done with that. I think that's that's a really really valuable lesson for people. Yeah. Um, just one more time for the highlight reel. <laughs> that is an absolute. I mean, you can see. Look at the speed at which that looks like it's moving. There's the yeah. bunker. It's just gone. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> so far over that bunker. There is no bunker. <laughs> there is no bunker. Yeah, that was wild. That is a wild scene. I, mean, I love that. That bunker is normally like we hit it in that a lot. Oh, tons! I hit it in there a hundred times in there. Oh, <laughs> In the other, uh, in the so bracket. good. 365. I mean, 365 is probably the, the longest drive we've ever seen you hit in, in testing in this environment. I don't think we've ever hit one further than that, have we? Really good. Love it. Valuable, guys. Valuable to see how that job gets done. Hit up in it more, apply less loft, um, strike it in the middle of the head, and get out of your comfort zone with regards to how fast you swing. That is how you'll do it. Overspeed training is a skill. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's, you know, that people consider to be like talent that you're born with. Overspeed uh, training is something where you guys can uh, learn to swing faster. It's not something, oh, he has that, I wish I had it. You could have it too. Agreed. If you learn to swing with those principles, you can learn speed. You and I have learned speed. Yeah. Um, oh, I was slow as hell Yeah. for years. We, we both have talked about that uh, over the last couple mm -hmm. of years, how we, we both never hit six irons 200 yards you know, our whole lives. You know, that has been something we've worked at. So yep. um, you know, speed is something that has to be worked at and, and over time. And it's attainable. Definitely yeah. attainable. It's attainable. Well, but that was fun. That Good. was fun. All right, guys, road to 100K subscribers. We're nearly there, 80, yes. just about 82 over my shoulder this week. Uh, the, the ticker's moving on. Um, Keep that rolling if you're watching and you don't subscribe, make sure you hit that subscribe button, get the notifications when our new videos come out. Lots and lots coming this week. More topics like this that we think can help you guys improve your game, something you can take to the course. And what feels better than hitting it 20, 30 past your buddies? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. We'll see you again soon.